Named author and activist who survived the Holocaust and helped the world understand its horror is being remembered tonight. Nobel Prize winner Ellie Wiesel is dead and his legacy is being celebrated worldwide. KCAL Lance Christy Fajardo joins us now with more on his life, which is very difficult to put into just such a small amount of time, but what an impact. It's an extraordinary life, which is why, Elsa and Peter, that life is trending on social media tonight as tributes pour in from around the world, including one from President Obama, who says in many ways, Wiesel was a conscience of the world. From Holocaust survivor to Nobel laureate, Elie Wiesel's passing is being mourned in Hollywood at LA City Hall, in synagogues and Southland mega churches. Broadcaster Larry King tweeted, So sorry to hear of Elie Wiesel's passing. I knew him well. He was a great man and a wonderful writer. Rest in peace. Orange County pastor Rick Warren tweeted out a photo saying, Today we lost a great man, my dear friend and mentor, Elie Wiesel. He used the hashtag Purpose Driven Leader, honoring Wiesel's work as a witness to the Holocaust and as a humanitarian activist. The teacher, I always believe in questions. The question is, will the world ever learn? Wiesel was just 15 when his family was picked up and he was shipped off to Auschwitz. This picture was taken after liberation. That's Wiesel on the second bunk. In later years, he would author novels capturing the horrors he witnessed. His book, Night, was hailed as one of the most devastating stories about the Holocaust. The Nobel Peace Prize winner used his history to speak out for victims of oppression. Why am I involved in tragic events that occur to people I have never met on the other side of ocean sent continents? It is because I belong to a traumatized generation haunted by the world's indifference. But the world is not indifferent to his death. Tonight, leaders are remembering. Here in Los Angeles, Mayor Eric Garcetti tweeted, today we have lost one of the great witnesses to history. City Attorney Mike Fuhrer wrote, we mourn the immense loss of Elie Wiesel, Holocaust survivor, Nobel laureate, humanitarian. Thank you for not being silent. Wiesel's family says he died peacefully after a long illness, and Peter and Elsa, he was 87 years old.